This is the Marvel Universe Infinite Series Marvel's Beast. The figure is part of the very first wave of the 2015 Marvel Infinite Series, Marvel Universe Infinite Series, 3.75 inch figures. And here they are. Uh, part of wave one, and here's a look at the back art. Share the same front card and insert, but uh, they differ in the uh, Photoshop artwork. Which is great. Yeah. Uh, this is, well, you know what? I've been waiting for Hasbro to do a Jim Lee Beast. The Dark Beast was just a plus, And uh, I'm, I'm pretty glad that we get to complete our X-Men shelf for the Marvel Universe. This is the Dark Beast. This is obviously the Jim Lee Beast. They, sh they share the same body molds. But they just differ, obviously, in paint apps, color, plastic, and the obvious head sculpt. First glance, well, actually, in actuality, I actually, for me, this is just me. I prefer this version of this figure, the original Beast. You know, you gotta love this Hank McCoy, furry blue, Hank McCoy Beast. Dark Beast was okay. Uh, it was okay. I never read up a lot about that time when the Dark Beast came. Uh, I didn't like the idea of Hank being bad, but you know, uh, Marvel had to do it. That's fine. Uh, and I know some collectors are are looking for a Dark Beast, and uh, this is great because in this particular wave, you're gonna get both figures in the same case of twelve figures. You get two of the beasts, and the regular beast, and just one of this one. This is going to be the Chase figure, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of collectors will be gunning for this one more than this one. So, here is the Astonishing uh, Beast Marvel Universe. In terms of figures, playability, posability, and articulation, this is a bit of a far cry from this one. Uh, this one was really nice to the point that you could, you could stand this one on his hand. It was very, very versatile. It was a very versatile figure, but certainly not as popular as this figure. Hasbro has decided to reduce articulation and just improve on the details of the figure. As you can see, the sculpt is amazing. It, it is a well-detailed figure. However, Hasbro has decided to scrimp on articulation. Ball joint and neck, absolutely zero articulation for the torso, lower torso, no waist or ab crunch. Just a ball hinge shoulder, ball hinge elbows, ball jointed uh, hips, double jointed knees, and a ball hinge ankle with the rocker tilt, which is great. I mean, for posability with the legs, it's great. Also, they tried to improve the ball joint, the socket of the ball joint. It's a lot deeper. It's a deeper hole. It's tighter. It doesn't pop off as easily as the previous uh, ball joints did. Uh, this one in particular, uh, I don't want to do it. It might break. Ah might break it but you know what I'm talking about the uh, spider-man mold the Jamie Madrox mold it would easily pop up but yeah uh, articulation really put this figure down uh, for me however the sculpt and the the paint apps uh, are big big plus uh, for this figure so it's very hard to not like this figure as some collectors were, were are really panning this figure but it's also not easy to like it if you're a big articulation fan now same goes for this guy uh i love the colors on this one it really depicts the dark beast color uh the head sculpt eh, okay it'll pass but again the lack of articulation because it's the same mold can be a bit of a downer for this figure Having said that, I still think it's a great addition. Um, I would have wanted maybe uh, a smaller version of the Abomination mold. That would have been really great. Uh, but this one, as it is, is a great display piece. You can put it on your X-Men shelf. It would be great. I'm actually thinking of putting this one as part of the Illuminati. Uh, if, you want, if you're reading up on New Avengers and Avengers, Hank McCoy is part of the Illuminati. Um, and uh, I think he looked great there. Uh, this one would be on the X-Men shelf, as well as this one. This guy was my Illuminati Beast for a time. Now that I have him, he's my new Illuminati Beast. 
So just, an, I, I thought it's amazing fig. I thought it was a good enough figure, not an amazing figure, but definitely good enough to add to your X-Men collection. It's going to get, it's going to get a, I, I was actually surprised that I like, this one's going to get a nine out of 10 for me. This one, because I wasn't a big fan of the head sculpt that much, and maybe I'm pretty biased about the Dark Beast, is going to get an 8 out of 10 for me. So, if you're just looking to get one beast, and you missed out on this one, this is definitely not a bad substitute. Uh, but if you're a big X-Men fan like I am, you're sure going to get both beasts. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon in the bottom. Follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases, Instagram for my toy sightings here in Manila. Check out all my video reviews on this channel. Chefatron, this has been... Oh, before I forget, I did pick this up not on uh, Toys R Us at, or Toy Kingdom. I picked it up at a local hobby shop here in Manila. If you, if you collect a lot of Marvel, Star Wars here in Manila, you know the hobby shop I'm talking about. I got them at Kramer Toy Warden. Amazing, amazing shop at Green Hills. Uh, if you live in Manila, you know what I'm talking about. They got great prices for their stuff. Um, uh, and if you're looking for a particular Marvel or Star Wars figure, chances are they might have it uh, at non scalper prices. There you go, folks. Uh, Marvel Universe Infinite Series for 2015 Marvel's Beast and Dark Beast. Thanks for watching.